My comrades, we stand reunited! <laughs> The Call of Duty franchise has featured some of the best FPS gameplay for decades. Known for mastering its style of fast-paced run-and-gun gameplay, the series has a distinct feel that you can't really experience in other shooting games. This iteration is no different, closely resembling the 2019 reboot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which also garnered praise for its great gameplay feel. Watch a review of how Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 marked another notch in the long-running best-selling FPS shooter series. This is the video adaptation of our Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 review article on Game 8. Check the full review linked below. In the campaign mode, the game lets you partake in thrilling and dangerous missions as skilled operators. Set right after the events of Modern Warfare 2, the player is tasked with taking down the ruthless Russian warlord Vladimir Makarov, a returning villain from the original Modern Warfare. His cunning nature, charisma, and ruthlessness make him a worthy adversary, making taking him down feel all the more rewarding. The fate of the world lies in Task Force 141's hands as they try to stop him before it's too late. The game's story is extremely captivating and gets more interesting the more you play. It features visually striking spectacles from full HD cutscenes to superb voice acting. It also doesn't hold back on exploring mature and controversial topics like violence, racism, war, and other terrible acts. Each mission significantly moves the plot forward and is interesting enough to go through. It might seem like 14 missions is a lot, but when you notice how short some of these are, it can get pretty underwhelming. Without skipping any cutscenes, the campaign can be finished in 5-7 to seven hours, while some have already cleared it in under 4 hours. 6 out of the 14 are open combat missions, featuring larger maps that grants players more freedom in executing the mission. However, this kind of freedom sometimes ruins the story's pacing, not to mention the vast maps create so much distance between each objective that it often makes it tedious enough to traverse through. Strategies for these are either stealthily picking off opponents one by one, or going in loud and hot with guns blazing. While this feature sounds great on paper, it feels like a lazy execution of a DMZ-style game mode mixed in with campaign elements. For those who are unfamiliar with this game mode, the Modern Warfare 2 reboot introduced this feature, which is an extraction shooter that deploys players into a playable map filled with powerful equipment, access to loadouts, and a lot of freedom in completing objectives. If only it came with more traditional linear missions and fewer open combat missions, this would have been one of the better campaigns in Call of Duty. On the right difficulty, you won't really breeze through it without a challenge even as a COD veteran. However, should you choose to purchase the game, you can still expect a fully immersive experience with incredible storytelling, blockbuster movie-like cutscenes, and great single-player gameplay. While campaigns and other game modes have been hit or miss, the multiplayer game modes of Call of Duty games are always fun. That signature blend of strong gameplay, top-tier visuals, and crisp audio translates perfectly into online multiplayer fun. Modern Warfare 3 is no different. Obviously, it has that classic Call of Duty feel. Tactical takes a bit longer than usual, which in our opinion improves the multiplayer experience. There's better skill expression since you'd have to land more bullets to secure kills. Gone are the days of helplessly dying a split second after respawning. Unless you get sniped, of course. The movement is similar to 2019's Modern Warfare, and we felt very agile as we ran, slid, and parkoured our way across the battlefield. Weapons, attachments, and perks seem to be in a balanced state. Unlike in previous iterations, there's no one option that clearly stands above the rest. Back then, everyone would run the same guns with the same attachments and the same perks. This may be because the game is new and people don't really have a good grasp of what the meta is, but so far so good. However, some of the equipment and perks need to be unlocked in the armory. This means finishing several daily challenges to unlock them. While it's not really hard to accomplish these daily challenges, they're only offered a few each day. This means that players can only unlock one or two items each day even if they spend the whole day playing. It seems like a cheap and unethical tactic to manipulate the player base into grinding more hours into the game. One of the best additions to the game is the brand new War Mode. On top of the large-scale mayhem we're already familiar with, they added objectives like capture the point and push the payload much like in Overwatch. The addition of these objectives improves the war mode so much in contrast to the mediocre gameplay of Ground War. While we weren't a fan of the open combat missions being a lot like DMZ, 
The brand new open world DMZ style of zombies mode is definitely something we can get behind. It now features a gigantic map, much like in Warzone, and is loaded with points of interest. It's literally DMZ, but with zombies and armed mercenaries trying to kill you. This means that you can gain both weapon and level XP, use your loadouts, and traverse the map like you would in Warzone. Additionally, you could also run into other squads in real time and help each other deal with a common threat at hand. With all these brand new elements added in, each game will always be a different experience. Zombies may just be a fun new way to grind out your weapons with your squad. However, we do feel that the previous system with the intensifying waves of undead swarming to kill you definitely felt more intense. It would be really cool if Call of Duty somehow found a way to bring back the waves and integrate it into the game mode, intensifying the match as it goes on. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 looks absolutely stunning. The character models, environment, guns, and special effects all look polished and very nice. The cutscenes were done masterfully, and when paired with its great story, really draws you in. While we can't speak for players on old gen consoles, our experience on PS5 and Xbox Series S was visually enthralling. Something often overlooked that adds to the unique signature gameplay feel of Call of Duty games is its sound. In a modern military shooting game, you'd want the sound of gunfire and explosions to sound full and loud. The game also provides superb voice acting to go along with its captivating cutscenes. On a decent pair of headphones, the audio in this game is guaranteed to fully immerse you in its digital battlefields. Gaming Reviews gives Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 an 8.6 out of 10. Its campaign mode features outstanding storytelling through its stunning visuals and strong gameplay. Priced at the typical $70 for a AAA title, it's priced fairly for the quality you get in return. While the story is pretty short, there's so much more to experience in its improved multiplayer and zombies game modes, giving you access to some of the best multiplayer FPS experiences in the genre. Be sure to check out our full review article for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 at our website, linked in the description below. We'll see you in the next one.